Welcome to our YouTube channel, Dream Dynamics. Sometimes we feel like we can handle everything. That comes our way in life. Other times, even the smallest problem can seem like too much to handle. What's the reason for this? It's not really about the situations we face. Many of us have experienced being upset about something that wouldn't normally bother us. On the flip side, we can also bounce back from major setbacks, considering them just a normal part of life. The key isn't the events themselves. It's our mental strength. Mental strength helps us not to get overwhelmed by negative thoughts. It allows us to navigate the ups and downs of life each day. Similar to physical strength, mental strength is like a mental muscle that we can strengthen to boost our overall well-being. Some people can quickly recover from personal failures, while others find it harder. When life brings you down, do you easily get back up and handle things? Or do you feel really overwhelmed and doubt your ability to deal with the challenge? If you're in the second group, don't worry. There are nine Zen master habits to become mentally strong. You can learn and improve your mental resilience through practice, discipline, and hard work. Our resilience is often put to the test when unexpected and bad things happen, like losing a loved one, losing a job, or a relationship ending. But these challenges also give us a chance to rise above them and become even stronger than before. Number one, developing skills. Building mental strength in Zen master teachings involves developing skills that enhance resilience. This process fosters a sense of mastery and competency crucial during tough times. It also boosts self-esteem and problem-solving abilities. The specific skills to acquire depend on the individual. For instance, enhancing cognitive abilities like working memory or selective attention can improve everyday functioning. Alternatively, learning new hobbies through competency-based approaches can be beneficial. Learning skills in a group setting provides additional advantages, such as social support, which further nurtures resilience. In the pursuit of mental strength, the Zen master approach to skill development goes beyond the conventional understanding of acquiring expertise or knowledge. It delves into the cultivation of virtues and qualities that contribute to a well-rounded and resilient character. The foundation of skill development in Zen master teachings is laid upon the practice of mindfulness. Mindfulness is not just a technique. It is a way of being fully present in each moment. By honing this skill, you bring heightened awareness to your thoughts, emotions, and actions, creating a profound shift in how you navigate the intricate landscapes of your mind. Mindfulness in the Zen master context is more than a stress reduction tool. It is the gateway to self-mastery. The practice involves paying deliberate attention to the present moment without judgment. Through mindfulness meditation, you develop acute awareness of your thoughts and emotions, allowing you to respond to them with clarity and intention. Mindfulness also extends to your daily activities, whether you are eating, walking, or engaging in routine tasks. The practice of being fully present in the moment enhances your overall awareness. 
this heightened awareness becomes a powerful tool in understanding the patterns of your mind and breaking free from habitual reactions. In Zen, Master Teachings, the development of mental strength is inseparable from the cultivation of compassion. Compassion is not merely sympathy for others' suffering. It is an active force that propels you to alleviate the pain of those around you by extending compassion to yourself and others, you create a reservoir of inner strength that can withstand the challenges of life. The practice of loving-kindness meditation, a fundamental aspect of Zen master teachings, involves generating feelings of goodwill and compassion toward oneself and others. This practice not only fosters a sense of interconnectedness, but also strengthens your ability to respond to difficulties with a compassionate heart. Equanimity, a quality often emphasized in Zen master teachings, is the ability to maintain inner stability and peace amidst the ups and downs of life. Developing equanimity does not mean becoming indifferent to the world. Rather, it involves cultivating a balanced and steady mind that can navigate the inevitable fluctuations of life with grace. Number two, goal setting. Zen master teachings emphasize the importance of setting clear intentions and goals. While the journey of self-discovery may seem like navigating through uncharted waters. Having a goal provides a compass, a direction for your efforts. In Zen master teachings, this is not about clinging to desires, but about aligning your aspirations with the greater good. Setting goals in Zen master teachings involves cultivating wholesome intentions, such as the desire for personal growth, compassion for others, and the pursuit of inner peace. By anchoring your actions in these positive aspirations, you create a roadmap for mental strength, guiding you through the inevitable challenges of life with purpose and resilience. In the journey of becoming mentally strong, goal setting acts like a guiding star helping us navigate the vast sea of life. Imagine goals as little lighthouses that shine a light on the path. We want to take, but in Zen master teachings, it's not just about any goals. It's about setting our sights on things that bring goodness not only to ourselves, but to the world around us. Think of it like this. If life is an adventure, goals are like a treasure map. They give us a sense of direction, a purpose to move forward. Now, these aren't just ordinary goals, like wanting a new gadget or a bigger house. Zen master goals are more like planting seeds of kindness, understanding and inner peace in the garden of our lives. So when we talk about goal setting in Zen master teachings, it's not just about what we want, but about who we want to become. It's like deciding to be a kinder person, to learn and grow and to spread positive vibes around us. These goals become our compass, guiding us through the ups and downs helping us stay true to our path, even when the journey gets tough. Number three, controlled exposure. In the vast ocean of life, storms are inevitable. Zen master teachings teach that. Mental strength is not about avoiding challenges, but about facing them with equanimity. Controlled exposure is the art of gradually confronting difficulties allowing yourself to build resilience without becoming overwhelmed. In the Zen master perspective, 
Controlled exposure is closely tied to mindfulness. By being fully present, in the face of challenges, you can observe your reactions without being consumed by them. This practice cultivates a sense of inner calm, enabling you to navigate the storms of life with grace and resilience. Imagine life as an ocean with big waves that sometimes splash you. Zen Master teachings encourage us not to run away from these waves, but to face them slowly. This is called controlled exposure. It's like learning to swim little by little, rather than jumping into the deep end right away. Being mindful, which means paying full attention to the present moment, is like having a life jacket in this ocean. It helps you stay afloat when the waves get rough. By calmly facing challenges, you learn to navigate the storms of life without feeling lost or scared. Controlled exposure is not about rushing or forcing yourself into difficult situations. It's a gradual process of building confidence and resilience. So when life's waves come crashing, you can handle them with a steady heart, just like a skilled sailor steering through stormy seas. Number four, make connections. Zen master teachings emphasize the interconnected nature of all things. To become mentally strong, one must recognize and nurture the web of connections that bind us to others. This involves cultivating meaningful relationships, fostering empathy, and understanding the profound impact our actions have on the world around us. In Zen master teachings, the cultivation of connections is not confined to human relationships alone. It extends to our relationship with the environment, with all living beings, and ultimately with the universe. By recognizing and embracing this interconnectedness, we strengthen our mental resilience understanding that our well-being is intricately linked to the well-being of others. Zen Master teachings talk about friendship, not just the kind between people, but the connection we share with everything around us. Imagine a giant spider web where each strand is a connection. That's how Zen Master teachings see life. Everything is connected. In simple terms, making connections means building bridges instead of walls. It means caring about others and understanding that what we do affects them. Think about the joy you feel when you help a friend or the sadness when you see someone hurt. Zen master teachings say this connection is like a treasure it makes us stronger. Kindness is like the glue that holds these connections together. When we are kind, we strengthen our bonds with others. Zen, master teachings, encourage us to be compassionate, to feel for others, and to lend a helping hand when someone is in need. This kindness not only helps them, but also makes our own hearts strong and happy. Connections are not only about people. Zen Master teachings also encourage us to see nature as our friend. The trees, animals, and the whole world around us are part of this big web. When we take care of nature, we take care of ourselves too. This connection with the earth is vital for our mental strength. Have you ever felt alone or sad? Zen master teachings believe that feeling comes when we forget our connections. When we remember 
that we are part of a big, beautiful web. Loneliness fades away. We realize we are not alone. We are connected to everything and everyone. Think of dropping a pebble into a pond. The ripples spread out in all directions. Our actions are like that pebble. When we make good connections, the ripples of kindness spread. Others see it, feel it, and then they might start being kind too. It's like a chain reaction of goodness. Imagine your favorite building. It stands tall because it has a strong foundation. Making connections is like building that foundation for your life. When challenges come and winds blow, a building with a solid foundation stays strong. Similarly, a life built on good connections can withstand the storms of difficulty. Number five, avoid seeing crisis as insurmountable problems. In the face of adversity, Zen master teachings emphasize the importance of maintaining a balanced perspective, crisis, challenges, and difficulties are inherent aspects of life. The key to mental strength lies in how we perceive and respond to them. Rather than viewing problems as insurmountable obstacles, Zen master teachings encourage seeing them as opportunities for growth and transformation. The art of perspective in Zen master teachings involve cultivating a mindset that sees challenges as stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. This shift in perception allows you to approach difficulties with a sense of resilience, viewing them as opportunities for self-discovery and evolution. Life sometimes throws tough things at us. It's like facing big problems or going through really hard times. Zen master teachings teach us something cool. How we look at these tough times matters. Imagine playing a game. If you think the game is too hard, you might give up. But what if you see it as a chance to become better at it? Zen master teachings are a bit like wearing those positive glasses. When facing life challenges, instead of feeling overwhelmed, trying to see challenges as a game to play and learn from. It's not about how hard the game is, but about the skills you gain while playing it. Number six, accept that change is a part of living. Change is the only constant in life, and Zen master teachings place a profound emphasis on embracing the impermanence of all things. To become mentally strong, one must learn to flow with the river of change rather than resist its current. This involves accepting the transient nature of both joy and suffering. Zen master teachings on impermanence guide us to understand that clinging to the past or fearing the future only leads to suffering. By accepting the ever-changing nature of life, you cultivate mental strength that is resilient in the face of uncertainties. This acceptance allows you to navigate the ebb and flow of life with equanimity. Life is like a river, always flowing and changing. In Zen master teachings, they say everything is impermanent, which means nothing stays the same forever. Think about the seasons. Summer turns into fall, fall into winter, and so on. Just like that, life is always shifting. The cool thing about this Zen master idea 
is that instead of getting upset, when things change, they teach us to accept it. Imagine you have a favorite toy, but one day it breaks. Instead of crying about it, you accept that it's broken and find new ways to have fun. That's the spirit of impermanence, accepting that everything changes and finding peace in that acceptance. When we resist change, it's like trying to stop the river. It doesn't work and we only end up feeling frustrated. But when we go with the flow, we discover a kind of freedom. So, in the journey to be mentally strong, embrace the idea that change is a natural part of living. Be like a leaf floating downstream, going with the current instead of fighting against it. Number seven, take decisive actions. Imagine you have a big box of toys and you can't play with all of them at once. So you pick the ones you like the most. Life is kind of like that. You make choices. Zen master teachings say, choose wisely. It's like being a superhero with a superpower called thinking. Before you do something, think about whether it's a good choice. Will it make you happy? Will it help others? Being a decision-making superhero means not just doing things randomly. It means using your thinking power to make choices that bring good vibes to you and everyone around you. Number eight, look for opportunities for self-discovery. Zen philosophy encourages you to turn inward, acknowledging the vast richness within yourself. Close your eyes and reflect on what brings you joy, laughter, and your unique talents. This introspective meditation, akin to superhero training for your mind, unveils the treasures within. It's not about seeking external wealth. It's about discovering the gold and diamonds nestled within your being. Take a moment each day to delve into your thoughts and emotions and you'll be astonished by the incredible aspects you uncover. You are on a superhero mission to unveil the extraordinary person that resides within. Number nine. Take care of yourself. Envision yourself donning a superhero suite with the superpower of self-care. Zen mastery emphasizes that you are the master of your well-being. Treat your body and mind like cherished pets and you are the superhero owner responsible for their care. Nourish them with wholesome sustenance. Ensure they get adequate rest and engage in activities that bring you happiness. Make this self-care routine a daily practice, wearing your superhero suit proudly. You don't need to soar through the skies or lift heavy burdens. Instead, simply treat yourself as the superhero you truly are. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you found this story meaningful, and the lessons impactful. Don't miss out on more content like this. Subscribe to our channel to stay connected and receive regular updates filled with insightful narratives and valuable life lessons. Thank you for your support and we look forward to sharing more empowering stories with you. Remember, every small step towards personal development counts See you in our next video.